went through a tough breakup a couple months ago. And that was never going to work out. We had like totally different goals in life, me and this guy. Like he wanted to be married in a few years and I wanted to be happy <laughs> in a few years. <laughs> a little bit different. He told me once he wanted to have eight kids, you guys. I didn't even know what to say to that. I just started stretching. I was like, oh, yeah. The tough breakup though, we met at like a weird point in our lives. Like we met at a very transitional moment. Like we were both in community college, which is a little bittersweet because um, meeting a significant other in community college is sort of like finding a full bag of chips in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of a miracle, but hey, look around, you're still a possum, so. <laughs> We broke up in public, so like he wouldn't make a scene. And uh, it was funny, on the way home from the breakup, I actually got pulled over by a cop who thought I was drunk, which was hilarious, because like I've never been drunk, I've never done any drugs. Someone offered me weed once, they were like, Taylor, just try it, okay? It will open your eyes, you will learn things about yourself. And I'm like, yeah, no thank you. I already know I like Taco Bell. <laughs> Don't need it. This cop did not believe me though. He just kept asking me, he's like, how much have you had to drink? Have you been drinking? Are you drunk? And finally I was just like, no, no, I'm not drunk. I'm a little sad. <laughs> Is there a sad driving test? <laughs> I don't even know what that would look like. Like instead of a breathalyzer, they just have you sigh into a harmonica. <laughs> if it's on pitch, like you can't go home, too sad. Can't have that on the road. I think the real problem with me and this guy is like he used to do this thing where he would tell me whenever girls hit on him, like make a point to tell me. And I never knew what to say to that because he'd just be like, oh, babe, I just want to let you know, girl at Starbucks, give me your number. What do you want me to say to that? <laughs> like fist bump you? Like, nice, bro. <laughs> Get it. Like, what do you, you want me to turn into Batman? Like, where is she? <laughs> He's like, no, babe, I just want you to feel safe. I want to be honest with you. I care about you. I want you to feel safe. I'm like, oh, you dirty liar. <laughs> you don't want me to feel safe. You want me to know that you turned down the option of other people today. You want points for not cheating on me. That's what you want. Yeah, like I'm supposed to swoon like, oh my gosh, babe, you honored the most basic term of our agreement? Thank you so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> You are not impressing us with your fidelity, guys. All right, not at all. You turn down the option of other people? We're women, we have that option all the time. Do you understand how easy it is for us to drum up business? So all I have to do is raise my hand in a Walmart or uncross my legs in a Denny's and we are open for business. Yeah, I got your Grand Slam right here.